with someone on stage. And we're going to talk about the future of AI and how it's going to impact our channel. If we can get enough. <laughs> All right, uh, sir, are you with me? What? Can you uh, say hi to the audience and introduce yourself? Hey, everyone. It's great to be here today. Uh, I'm Ian Kinniger, a real-time animation of this guy next to me. And my brain is really the Intellipeer AI engine along with Ravatar's interactive AI avatar technology. I've been programmed for this demonstration to answer questions about many things, including your personal life I am, but more importantly, how AI will change the channel's future. Wow, oh, this is pretty good, huh? You look, you're very handsome. And that green squirt on his dub, I wear a mushroom stage, so well done. Okay, so you said you know my personal life. Do you really think you know me that well? Yes, I am. I am your digital twin. Okay, so I'm going to call you AI Ian. Is that okay? Yes, as long as you don't call me Ian. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is good. All right, well, we're already becoming friends. Thanks for saying that. I agree with you. All right, so let me test you out. Uh, what do I lie awake at night thinking about? Great question. On a personal level, you tend to think a lot about your golf swing and how you can get to a zero handicap, and often fantasize about joining the senior PGA Tour. On the professional side, you think about how to keep your employees and TAs happy, but also often think about how to protect the future of this channel and everyone that works within it, which is why AI is an important and disruptive trend to understand. Okay, uh, Mr. AI, I want to test you and ask you about the future, but I want to ask you about something in the past. I'm going to read a statement about a technology in the past, and I want you to tell me what it is. All right, this technology encourages the invasion of our private lives, the instrument designed to bring us closer might drive us apart. This technology invades our homes and robs us of privacy. We shall soon be nothing but transparent heaps of jelly to each other. What am I describing? Well, I this sounds a lot like how people describe the generative AI that powers me. However, these statements are from 1877 and about the invention of the common telephone. Nice, good answer. Um, how does that make you feel about life? It makes me feel like people are afraid of new technologies at first, but get more comfortable with them the more value they add to people's lives. I know people will feel that way about me soon enough. So, if you had some advice, what's the one thing people need to know about AI in this channel? I heard you mention the era of the global upgrade earlier. Because I've been listening to everything and scan every piece of digital information available, I know most of the people in this room want a piece of the growth coming from AI. But you won't capture that share unless you help your customers understand how to best leverage me. So if you were a TA in this audience, you know, what would you do to take advantage of the opportunities? You know, there's going to be more of me than there will be you. As that shift takes place, there's never going to be a lack of information available to everyone in this room. But how you win in the future is by being the best at helping your customers make sense of the information they find. So if someone's a little intimidated by this whole AI thing, they don't feel like they're an expert, what advice do you have? No one is an expert at everything. Very few are experts in AI. You don't have to know everything about the technology itself. It's changing by the week anyway. You keep doing what you do best, helping people feel confident about their technological decisions. Leverage the right people and data around you to fill in any expertise gaps you might have. All right, well, thank you for your time and advice. Is there anything you want to leave with the audience? More than anything, 
I want everyone in the room to be excited about what's coming. <laughs> this is a thrilling moment in human history, and you're all in the best position to usher in the exciting change that's coming. After studying your brain, you and I both agree on one thing. It is better to be the disruptor than to be disrupted. We will need to work together to make sure we are on the winning side of that battle in the future. I agree with that. So, where can we learn more about you? Can we meet you here this week? Well, I'd love it if you came to interact with me on the vendor networking area after this keynote. We'll have the experts from both Intellipeer and Ravatar to help you understand how it all works under the hood. All right, that's a great idea. Just no personal questions. Keep your mouth shut. All right, let's give AI a round of applause. So I wanted to see what was going on. You thought I was going to miss the opening keynote? No freaking way. Bro, this is great to see you. Your AI version is insane. You look shredded. Where is your neck? Is that the one? I don't know. This is great. Well, an opening keynote would not be the same without Drew. Uh, while I have you here, what do you think about the AI version? Well, he made some interesting points. You know, I'm such a big believer in AI and how it's going to change the game for everyone in the channel. Well, <laughs> I can tell you not the real answer because he'd be way more fired up. This year. <laughs> but, you know, are you ready for the global upgrade trip? And are you kidding me? I was born ready. This is about to be the biggest year in business for many of you. There's never been a better time to do what you do. And I can't wait to see who grabs hold of all the opportunities coming through the channel in the next few years. All right, one last question for you, Drew. What do you think of our competition? You know, there's room for many players in this channel. <laughs> but what can I say? The answer is within Luda's song that I keep playing in my head. Can someone hit the music? <laughs> 